Hello and welcome to the ANA International ECHO Award Interview Series. I'm Jeff Gibson, Director of Facebook's Creative Show, and I'm excited to be representing Facebook as the host of this Thought Leadership Interview Series. For over 90 years, ANA ECHO Awards have recognized what matters most in marketing, generating business outcomes that wow in their data-inspired strategy, creativity, and results. Only a few dozen agency and client teams each year get to be gold, silver, and bronze ECHO Award winners, and they all have a powerful story to tell. This series allows us to dive deeper into their stories. At Facebook, the one thing that any great piece of work must do is grow business. But we also look to develop ideas that marry technology and creativity in innovative ways that result in an idea or a solution that truly is built for people. We're thrilled to support the Echo Awards and celebrate this year's winners and their exceptional work at the intersection of creativity and technology. In this segment, we feature a conversation with Jeppe Hartman Berggren, Director and Partner at Ambition. Ambition worked with Amnesty International and Sanish Office to re-engage LAPS members by creating a gamified brand experience tailored around the target's passion points. In addition to meeting their business objectives, their work garnered three Echo Awards this year. Let's hear from Jeppe, who will share some of the challenges and lessons learned from the experience. Data can do uh, a lot in terms of uh, focusing the interaction uh, through uh, much more than just one single point of contact. So, you know, when you want the uh, customers or your audiences to change behavior, and that's basically the line of work we are in, uh, then I think that you will uh, have to understand them. And data is definitely a, a key source of, uh, of getting insight into uh, what kind of behavior and, and uh, what kind of uh, uh, you know, preferences uh, uh, that you can expect from your audiences and, and that you can promote them uh, into. And I think that you know, um, up until you know, maybe 10, 15 years ago, uh, marketing was uh, not 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 less about uh, insights and insight driven but uh, but basically we we are uh, you know experiencing that data is a tool to uh, to make you adapt through the dialogue with your with your prospects or your customers or whatever audiences you're working at so i think that that when when data inspires the um, the whole marketing process uh, we are uh, able to be a lot more uh, relevant and that's basically all it takes to be uh, uh, creating uh, uh, changed actions or uh, behavior. Denmark is a very uh, small country right so uh, we are like 5.8 million people but um, so the the audiences of all the uh, the, the companies that that uh, we work for is, is kind of limited so let's say an example is the uh, uh, the AIDS Association in Denmark. It's one of the, that's one of our customers, the biggest, uh, one of the biggest member organizations in in, uh, in Denmark. They have like 875,000 members. Now I know the uh, American Auto uh, Association has uh, quite a few millions. <laughs> so you know we are just, uh, you know, tr tr trained in the marketing industry to be, I think, uh, very focused in terms of. Uh, uh, you know, uh, going the extra mile in order to uh, get, uh, say, a hundred more uh, leads or customers in a given campaign, because uh, that, you know that's the numbers we're working in. So, so I think that 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 kind of uh, sets the scene for the uh, for the industry. Um, and also, we have a lot of uh, 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 third-party data available in Denmark, so we we are able to, uh, you know. Um, Analyze on both on the first-party data and third-party data, and the public databases that are made available uh, are like from Statistics Denmark, which will, uh, of course, uh, anonymized in microcells, give us the opportunity to work with demography, you know, uh, weight levels, uh, educational levels, uh, f you know, f family uh, situation, etc. So, so we can. When we combine those data sets, we can we can definitely uh, do something that is very um, micro segmented uh, and uh, and uh, I think more relevant to the individual. Uh, so so I think that we are uh, we are a very uh, uh, one to one uh, focused uh, uh, industry in uh, in in Denmark. The amnesty case is all about. Uh, 
passion. It's about the passion of the individual. And uh, I think that um, that should be the goal to uh, all uh, marketeers is to focus on the passion. I think there will be a lot of uh, uh, growth opportunity in uh, communicating uh, about the, the passion of your clients. So that should be all uh, uh, marketeers focus uh, to, to aim for the passion, be passionate about uh, their customers' uh, customer passion. We really need a global show. I think we need, I need the global inspiration. I think that there is much more to it than just what we do uh, uh, locally. And uh, for sure, uh, uh, you know, across the, uh, the, the judging process that I participate in, across the, uh, the interaction with the, with the other uh, judges and professionals, and uh, the uh, award show and of, uh, really uh, the, uh, uh, this conference as it is set up, it's really uh, uh, truly inspiring for us to to interact with the uh, with uh, you know uh, like-minded uh, from other parts of the world. I really enjoyed the the whole experience. I think in terms of of the client interaction, we are a very result-focused agency, so we always have that kind of dialogue with our customers. All the activities we run. We will, you know, full disclosure of all the learnings and all the results, and and we focus a lot of setting up, you know, uh, KPIs in so many layers so that we can analyze the heck out of uh, the results anyway. But I think for many other agencies, um, entering into uh, this kind of dialogue with their customers uh, will definitely make a, a huge difference. So uh, I think for more uh, agencies to enter work will be, uh, you know, will require that they do that. So that, that would be valuable for, for uh, a lot of other agencies than uh, already do uh, into their work. When we look at the other cases, even though it's uh, it's maybe not the best work, it, if it's good or bad, um, it's an inspiration and it's a learning process. So I can only recommend that. And I I, I for sure uh, prioritize to uh, to travel uh, uh, across the world uh, at my own expense. Thank you very much. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> to, to 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 participate, <laughs> I, I surely I surely get uh, a lot of benefits uh, in terms of inspiration. Mm -hmm.